be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back for bangers. Now today's beat, we're going to pretty much be making a no cap slash NBA young boy type beat in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing I'm going to do actually is create a software instrument track and then actually under instrument, I want to go with this default patch. Okay, and what I'm looking for here is actually like a grand piano. So I'm gonna go to piano right here and then grand piano. So what I'm gonna do is, um, this is musical type and I, I mean, this is basically the keyboard right here. I just push command K to bring this up. I actually have a MIDI keyboard and I just wanted to uh, see what I'm playing on here. So I'm gonna mess around with a basic piano melody. So we're gonna start with something menacing like that. Let's go ahead and lay that down. And I know it's sounding a little bit slow, but it's all good. We're gonna go ahead and quantize this real quick. And then from here, we're gonna speed this up. Let's do one over eight instead. I want this to be a little choppy too. All right, cool. So we have the piano down. Uh, let's listen to this some more. Back. So now that we have that let basic part down, let's actually start working on the drums. The drums is really going to carry this. So let's go ahead and actually um, do another software instrument track and then come over here to the quick sampler. And we're going to start off with a clap. Um, if you all are new to Logic Pro 10, basically you can drag and drop sounds anywhere from your computer into this area right here. And then you can also um, save these sounds here. So, so once you drop something in there, you can do a save as, and then you'll start seeing everything here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go with this clap right here and uh, see what we can go. I'm gonna go ahead and put a uh, like a compression plug in on this this um, piano just to make this pop out a little bit better. I'm gonna be using Waves MV2 plug in. And this is gonna basically just make that piano stand out more. <laughs> Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is create a uh, hi-hat pattern. And um, just for you guys who are new, I'm going to show you how you can just drag and drop, you know, sounds into the quick sampler. So we're going to pull open splice. All right. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and search for it like a trap um, hi-hat. This actually might work.
And literally, as you saw, I did is just took this and drag and drop this in here. Now I can do one or two things. I can actually go ahead and play this as is, as a you know, as an overall loop without having to actually lay these down. Or I can zoom in on this and actually make these my hi hat pattern. So let's just look at it like this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn on this follow tempo, and I'm gonna just play this. And so you can kind of see that this is not going to work that way. So what I'll do instead is just take this guy right here, making sure we're in classic mode and come to one of these um, hi hats. And I can zoom in holding down option and, you know, the one left or right on my mouse or trackpad. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and grab one of these hi hats. And this is guy again for the folks who are new and uh, basically I now have a hi-hat sound that I can play. Put this little fade out on this. I'll come in a little bit more. All right, and then like I said, if you want to save this, you just go here, do save as, and then we just say trap hat zero, mm, zero one. And now anytime I need to pull this up, let's say if I delete this, come with a brand new track sampler, quick sampler track. Once that quick collect sampler opens up, I can go to factor default and load, okay? And what do I call this, like trap hat? So click on that and now I have my. So let's go ahead and lay down this hat uh, pattern. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the step sequencer. We'll go, we'll put a note value here. We'll do a note repeat value here. And we'll do a velocity value here. After we get our basic um, steps locked in, we're gonna go ahead and do more steps, do 64 steps. And what this is gonna do, give us more variation to do certain stuff with this pattern. I actually want to change this actual note of the hi-hat because I feel like it's a little bit too high. Um, so what I'll do is it's on C3. What we're going to do instead is maybe do like uh, this G sharp. We'll do two. Let's see. All right, bet. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and actually I'm going to create a, a, a bail track um so we're gonna go software instrument track default patch and there's a bell that i like to use it's actually called tubular bell so i'm gonna go tube and you should see it pop right on up here click that Next thing we need to come up with is a wah. All right, there's some type of a wah that we can grab. Um, we're gonna have to sample this. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a, a software instrument track, and then we're gonna do this quick sampler. And we're coming over here to this splice right here, and I'm just gonna type in wah. Let's see what comes up. All right, so let's find something that we haven't checked out before. We could probably 
probably use this right here. Um, what I'm going to do is drag and drop this in. We're going to just basically cut some of this stuff out. So I'm just going to grab this guy right here. I just want to grab like a one chord. And I'm actually going to also fade this out. It might not work, but we're going to we're going to try to make it work. That one's not going to work cuz I think it's like more of a major. We want like a minor deal. make that part work I actually do kind of like that um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some reverb on this and I'm gonna turn up this uh, decay and turn this pre delay down some do the high cut turn that up do maybe about third way down on the mix <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this down in the mix some Keep on going on here. I'm gonna actually search Baton Rouge on um, Splice and see if something pops up that I like. I think that's how you spell it. Yeah, Baton Rouge. Let's see. You definitely need one of these, and this was this is what I was originally talking about with the Y. So this is what I really wanted. Um, let me go ahead and open this up. Now let's check it out.
right, so what we're going to do now is actually take a break from the drums and go back to the piano. And what I'm going to do is just highlight everything, push Command A, and we're going to go ahead and push Command R and extend this loop. I'm just going to push Command D to double this piano, and I'm going to basically find the key that we had this uh, piano sound in and did just kind of freestyle some stuff. And so like in on this these these uh songs, you know, they have a lot of emotion to them, so you want to come in here and find out what a what a pattern what an actual scale is. Want it to be a like a, a a minor, some type of a minor scale. Clean this up just a little bit. So we're gonna actually separate those two melodies. I'm gonna do another track, which basically what I did is Command D. Fix this up a little bit here. We're gonna turn down some some of the velocity settings on some of these notes. Cool. So we got enough melody type of uh, you know elements to this. Let me uh, go ahead and start with a bass, some type of a bass guitar. So instead of quick sampler here, and actually we'll just start over with a new track. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And instead of quick sampler, I'll just go ahead and do a default patch. And we're gonna find us a uh, dope bass sound, something live. So maybe it's a muted bass.
All right, this one kind of comes through pretty good. We'll fi follow that piano sound. We'll do something like that. I think we need, might need to do something different with that bass. kick drum in here go with quick sampler stereo already got a good kick saved in here so we'll pull this up and also you can see here if you have your uh, library open whenever you create that software instrument track and um, create a quick sampler track you'll actually see all your sounds that you saved right over here too so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and we can we can pull it up either way this, this bricks kit gonna go ahead and want to take out a lot of those lows because you can't really hear too much going on Anyway, y'all, that's just my rendition of a NBA Youngboy No Cap Type Beat. 
If you like this beat and you want me to finish it, maybe go ahead and mix it and arrange it and mix it. Let me know in the comment section below. If I get at least, mm, I don't know, a certain amount of comments, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it one of the future videos here. So I'm going to save this uh, song here and we're just going to check the comment section to make sure that people actually want to see this beat being finished. I'm just going to call this Baton Rouge. And uh, yeah, man, this is the video for today. Appreciate y'all watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section as well. We also have our site, beatmakingbasics.com. It has a full resource of all these different courses and loop packs and different things that you can get. Just go to beatmakingbasics.com. Check it out. Have a lot of different resources for you as a, a producer, especially if you're up and coming or just getting started. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.